Okay, so now it's looking more like a truck, huh? Chassis, uh, sliders, shackles, well, the leaf spring shackles, and this I think is a motor mount or the skid plate. Um, we have the body post installed. That covers parts one through six. Let's go ahead and uh, go to part seven. So it wants us to grab this little piece here from the kit. It's just like this little half square or L or F this way F piece okay and uh, it wants us to use uh, M3 8 millimeter screws so let's go ahead and find the M3 8 millimeter M3 by 8 millimeter button heads let's see yeah okay there we go and uh we're gonna need two of course now the direction of uh oh i grabbed three let's go ahead and put some loctite in there just a dab dab in there okay and there we go now it's saying to uh, your reference point again is going to be the same direction pretty much uh, the body posts and this uh, the square here at the end so it wants us to mount it uh, like this on the, uh, I'm guessing this is the front so that's what I'm guessing so you it's gonna go uh, right here let's put it on let's see uh, uh, so it's gonna show you that this flat side let me see if you guys can see it's all black it's crazy uh, this flat side of course it goes like this pretty much so this little ledge goes like that on the front so let's go ahead and uh, put it on there if we can <laughs> uh, you're gonna grab your two millimeter uh, driver and we're gonna put it on okay nice and snug I'm guessing that's for the servo so that makes this end the front end. So now that we got a direction, we kind of know which one is the front end and this is, which one is the back end. So this is the front, and this is going to be your rear. So let's uh, put it like this then. In this direction on the jack stands. Okay. So there we have uh, part seven. Now part eight um, wants you to install next to that one square, where is it at, uh, towards the rear. So it wants you to install these little tube looking things. You're going to have two in your kit. So pretty much they go, one goes here and the other one goes ahead of it. So one, two. So for that we're going to use the M3, 12 millimeter, and we're going to use four, of course. Okay. Let's go ahead and install it. Let's just go ahead and put dabs of uh, thread lock in there. install these now it wants you to keep the orientation of the holes 
facing up. So that's what we're going to aim for. So this automatically helps us skip step 11. So there you have step 7. Okay. And so this is going to be our front orientation. And that's what it's looking like so far, guys. So for step 9, 10, and 11, of course, it's going to ask for uh, these three parts here. Okay. Uh, and this one here. So being that this is our forward orientation, we are going to use as well these shock mounts. Okay, so it's, it's going to ask for all of those. Okay, so uh, for one part it asks for the 8 millimeter, I mean for two parts, and then for uh, the shock mounts it asks for the 10 millimeter. So let's go ahead and find the 8 millimeter. Okay, we have 8 millimeter. We're just going to need four. Four of those. Okay. And um, it's saying we're going to mount them towards the rear. So, um, this part here, you want your orientation. See, it has like a shallow end there or a indentation. That goes facing up. Okay, so let me show you here on the kit where it goes. It goes mounted here to the rear. You can uh, you can just push it up from the bottom and pinch it in there. That's how easy that is. Okay. And we'll go ahead and install those uh, eight millimeters. So like everything that I've been doing uh, on the metal on metal, we put some thread lock, just a dab, and we screw that in. Okay. Normally the kit as well, they'll tell you not to. Uh, tighten everything complete so if you're a beginner I recommend you start with just one half and then attach the other half but um, I've built plenty of these kits and uh, the Wraith Venom Crawler, Creeper Crawler the uh, SCX-10 Honcho um, I'm pretty familiar with most of these builds so the second part we want it facing up uh, and we go ahead and add those um, like I said it just slides right in it has these little indentations on the bottom and they just they just slide right in see right there you just push them up okay so let's go ahead with those eight millimeters and we can go ahead and tap those off Let's go ahead and screw that one in. Okay, let's use thread locker on that one. And then uh, now don't be confused because these two they do look alike, as you can see, but the trick on this one is that it has a opening here okay and of course the width is different so this one's going to your front and this one stays in the rear okay so that's what it's gonna look like so let's uh, mount this one this one is actually gonna go uh, like this now there's a trick when you mount this one you have these two sets these two holes here one is actually a set, uh, a threaded area where you're gonna um, hook on to your uh, your shock mounts. Okay, so we went ahead and pushed that part right through, 
And of course, uh, some thread locker here. Let's put some on here. Uh, on each hole. Okay. And it's just pretty much mounting it. Let me show you guys. Mounting it like so. Right there. Okay, so um, this uh, part of 10 is going to ask you for the M310 millimeter. So go ahead and find those in your kit and go ahead and screw them on. And of course, um, Part 11 will tell you to join both halves together and tighten everything up. So pretty much that's uh, what you're looking at up to part 10. Part 11, 12, and 13 pretty much tell you the same thing. Join the halves, which screws go where, and pretty much everything you did on one side, do it on the other side. Uh, now when it comes to part 14, is going to ask you for the um, chassis upper deck. Okay, so I said we we're going to go up to part 16 and we could stop there. So this is part 15. Okay, so it's going to have some hardware here. And we're going to go ahead and install those. Okay, so then it's going to ask you for a 8mm countersunk. Let's see if we can find those. 8 millimeter countersunk. Okay, so we're gonna grab this set right here, and we actually need one, two, and three. Well, we might need them all, so let's just uh, start with three. Okay, so we're gonna grab our again 2.0. Okay, and pretty much your orientation, of course, your countersunk screws. They'll sink it to that. Uh, let's look at it just like the uh, diagram. And we're going to put one of these little tubes here. On this end. And these little blocks with this uh, little hole, threaded hole there. Facing up, we're going to put uh, one right here. One right here. And then the other, of course, the other tube one would go on the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and do 